Welcome in everyone to our first ever off-stream playthrough here. Um, I'm going to be diving into a game that we actually uh, did a speed run against a fellow friend of mine, um, the part-time gamer, where we played this game in its normal mode capacity, and that was such a fun stream. Um, but today, guys, we will be playing the Li uh, the Libra mod. Uh, so the Libra mod basically makes this game extremely challenging, changes around the original character symbols, and their decks and monsters are much more powerful, and they move very strategically. Um, and the symbols also got big reworks. So the light symbol is a defensive symbol, dark is a defensive symbol, fire is very offensive, definitely, I believe, uh, de delivers the most damage uh, when its symbol attribute is race to the max. Water is defensive. Earth is HP or health, basically, hit points. And the higher your Earth's attribute rate is, the more health your monsters will have. Some monsters from the Earth symbol and a light symbol, um, they hit over 1,000 health. So this is a pretty amazing symbol too. Wind is defensive. Wood boosts water and wood monsters attack and defense by 50%. Very, very good symbol. And thunder is an offensive symbol for the thunder monsters and dark monsters. So light and earth are good and compatible with each other. Dark and thunder are compatible with each other. Fire and wind are compatible with each other and wind and wood are compatible with each other. So the choice, the decision here, I've beaten the game on light, which was extremely difficult, um, was my longest playthrough on this mod. This was very difficult, very, very, very difficult. Dark, I beat, I didn't, it didn't take me nearly as long as light did, but it was still very difficult. I just recently beat the game with fire. Um, fire was actually very hard because uh, fire is very frail. The monsters don't really have that much health. And unless I got the first shot off, I basically died. So I have yet to beat the game with water, earth, wind. I have beat it with wood. Um, I'm currently doing a off-stream playthrough with wood right now with, with the new game plus. I have not tried this out with thunder. But I think Thunder and Earth would be two, two symbols that would make it pretty easy. Not easy, but it would be much easier with these symbols. So, I think the hardest symbols to beat this type of mod with would be Water and Wind. And since I just recently finished Fire, I don't want to use the same monsters again. So I want to make a Water symbol. I'm going to see if we can beat the game with, our, with a Water symbol. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this one, guys. I'm gonna pick this one. So, what is this game for new viewers of this of this? This is basically Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh themed chess game, essentially. So, monster points is what you can use to buy your monsters. Attribute points or AP for short. It allows you to move how much you can move um, in a turn, basically. And power points is your symbol's health. <laughs> Grandpa! Ah, I thought you would come, Yugi. What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. I brought monsters that you can use in the tournament. That's my grandpa. Hold your horses. I never said I was giving you these for free. I'll exchange them for monster points. Monster points? You can earn monster points by winning during the tournament. Keep winning to get more and more. But I haven't battled even once yet. But didn't you just create a symbol that gave you monster points? Use those to start with. Let me give you some tips. Monsters can be separated into light, dark, fire, water, earth, wood, wind, and thunder. 
In other words, each monster has a different attribute. And each attribute has a different advantage and disadvantage. I'll explain what they are, but... If you don't think you can remember them, I suggest you take notes. Are you ready? Here they are. Light is strong against dark, and dark is strong against earth. Fire is strong against wood, and water is strong against fire. Earth is strong against thunder, and wood is strong against wind. Wind is strong against water, and thunder is strong against light. That's it. If you remember these relationships, it will increase your chances for victory. So only having monsters of a single attribute is dangerous. That's my grandson. You learn quickly. However, you should always take your opponent's attribute into account. That's another important point to remember. Well, the rest is up to you. I understand. Can you show me the monsters? So, going back to what I was saying after that really nice tutorial by Gram by Yugi's grandpa, um, there's two ways to win a duel in Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. You can either eliminate all of the opposing team's monsters, or you could target their symbol. So your symbol is basically the king. So for those that have played the original game, you guys will know that Joey Wheeler is fire as well. So this might look a little weird to you, but to show you guys that this, that this is the, the Libra mod, you guys will see Joey's monsters. Joey traditionally has four fire reapers on his team. But with this mod, you'll see that his team changes a little bit. The one and only. And don't think I'm gonna take it easy on you just because you're my friend. I'm not holding anything back. Then let's get started, Joey. All right, Joey, let's see what you got. So this is a card game that you pick a card and whoever has the highest number will go first. So since I've rolled a 7 and that's greater than 3, I get to choose if I attack first. If I pick attack second, I get to pos I get to pick my position on a field. Most people will go with attack first. Um, but I believe attack second, depending on the map, is extremely strategic and very good because it makes your opponent really... It makes the CPU attack and move very different. Um... Attacking second here is what Joey would have picked if he would have won because he really wants his side of the map So we're gonna take Joey's side of the map And let's see what happens here Now we're gonna pick our monsters Okay, I'll select my monsters to play with wait a sec. What's wrong Yugi? There's a limit on which monsters you can use Which is determined by monster points you mean, the points I paid, in order to get monsters? Yeah! Each stage has a set limit of monster points. And the total monster points of the monsters you use cannot exceed the limit. I see. That means, if the monster point limit of the stage is 100, then I can use 10 monsters that are 10 monster points each. Or I can only use 5 monsters if they are 20 monster points each. That's right! So you have to think carefully about the balance of which monsters to use. Okay. Thanks, Yugi. Okay, you guys. So, going back to what I was saying earlier, it's going to be very hard to come to fight Joey using wood monsters because fire is strong against wood, right? So our best bet is to tackle him with water. 
So all of our water we should use. I'll bring a happy lover in for our fourth member. And I think that should be it. That's all of our, yeah, that's all of our team. Certain monsters have certain abilities as well as they level up. Um, I'm going to just put my symbol in the very corner of the map. Not that Joey's going to get to it or anything, but... Um, I'll put myself here. All right, let's do this, baby. Oh, so there it is. There's the change. Uh-oh. This is going to be really rough because I only brought... So only having monsters of a single attribute is dangerous. That's my grandson. You learn quickly. Oh, oh my man. god! This is gonna be tough. Alright, buddy. Get on the bus, cause I'm taking you to school. I should have put in some wood monsters. That is his ace right there. Fire Reaper as well. You I'm your But if you keep me waiting any longer, we're enemies. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Here I go. Hey, in order to move your pieces, you need AP. I see. Each piece has a set requirement of AP. And if I move it, then the AP on the screen decreases, correct? Yep. And if you don't have enough AP, then you can't move your pieces anymore. So I have to be careful about the amount of AP when thinking about how to move my pieces. Uh-huh. But first, you can't move anything if you don't summon monsters from your capsules. So you have to choose which monsters to summon. You're right. Okay. Makes sense, right? So watch as when I... So if you look at this card right here, the Psychic, right? This is going to take 48 AP. So this is going to reduce my 210 minus 48. However, that plus 40 AP, that's going to get added to that plus 210. And at the end of every turn, I'm going to get 250. That might be the cap, actually. Alright, let's find out right now. If this doesn't go up anymore, we've already hit the maximum AP. No. Never mind. All right, so we're out of we're, we don't have enough AP to do anything else. So we have to end our turn Here I come you All right, Joey, let's see what you do and What's this wind monster baby dragon? Oh Man baby dragon This is actually extreme Right now, you saw the AP increase, right? What? Yes, you are correct. Where it says AP on the screen, there's a number with a plus sign next to it. Yes. This number must be the amount of AP that increases on my turn. Yeah, and if you summon a monster, it'll increase. That means either I move a summoned monster or I summon so that I can move more pieces. That's something I need to think about. It's important to make a decision based on the situation. Agreed. But since it's just a beginning match and this is more of a tutorial than anything else. Um, so it's also very strategic to look at how the how these monsters move. This monster can only move diagonal. While, for example, the Fire Reaper can only move and attack forward. Its ability increased. That terrain is favorable for your piece's attribute. If the terrain is favorable, then the ability increases. But if it's unfavorable, then the ability decreases, right? Yeah! 
You can check by looking at your piece's ability. I see. Then, I should be on the same terrain as my attribute as much as possible. It changes depending on the situation, but it's worth remembering. It really is. It really, really, really is. What is that? Oh, it's baiting me. The only way this is a good move? Oh, man. This thing... Yeah, it can't hit me. Boom! One shots it. The white dolphin will be taking out the fire reaper. Let's do this, white dolphin. Big damage coming up, baby. The fire reaper is one of my favorite monsters to use as well. Ooh, fat 24 experience right there. This has created an opening. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm just getting started, too. So, since that fire monster was also on a water tile, it made... It, it made its defense weaker as well. Whoa. Oh, Psychic got an, a, a, a rework. Normally, the Psychic could only attack what was in front of it. Like, it can only attack to the left, the right, front. But now it's got a wide range of attack. Okay. I like that. Let's immediately move. We're going to need this. ASAP. All right. Depending on the map, certain things happen that certain things happen in the map as well. Such as this water starts to rise. What? You can't be serious. This can't happen. It's time for my counterattack. Man, it's getting ready. Victories in my reach. What is this thing? Hinotama Soul? What is that? 194 attack? Oh man, this thing's a beast. We've got to watch out for this one. Now, hold on. Oh, it can... Oh, we gotta move this. Also, let's take a quick peek. Its defense is at 45. Oh, man, this is gonna be rough. Oh, man. Wait. How much can this move? This happy lover is going to have to clutch up so, so hard here. It's probably best that the dolphin hits here. 93. We're going to turn off because it's the same battle animation. Just to save some time. So it's at 87. Yeah.
plus four. All right, hold on here. Sixty-eight damage. All right, I'll show you guys what Psychic does. Pretty standard looking attack right there. All right. This is big. Will the root water kill here? This is very big. No, it won't. Oh, no. This is not good. Now, I don't think that these wind monsters will one-shot, but who knows? This is the beauty of... This is the disadvantage that the water monster has attacking wind monsters right here. Alright, there's nothing else I can do. I've moved all my pieces. Ooh, that's big damage. But we live. We live. Win it quick and slick. That's my motto. Then let's get started, Joey! Oh man, this is not gonna... This isn't gonna feel good. Ooh! That was a lot of damage, but it survived. Who baby dragon almost kills root water, but we're but we're okay. Phew. What's funny is that Joey could have killed if he had moved his monster a little bit. And that's baby dragon right there doing some damage here. You would think based on its attack that it did, it would be a fire monster, right? But that was a lot of damage. But it survived. Okay. Okay, we are A-OK, -okay, guys. We are A-OK. -okay. We should win right now. One hundred and ninety-two. Good night. One shots Joey's monster. Uh, okay. It's the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. I gotta make my move now or it's over. Wait, what? Huh. Oh, man. Four HP it lives on. Oh man. Please take this out. Okay, good. Good job, Happy Lover. Alright, I'll show you guys what Happy Lover's attack animation is. Nice. And now that Happy Lover cleared the way, Root Water can move up one one spot, get on the water, and obliterate this. This is a GG. This will finish you. Good night. And now that Joey Wheeler has lost all of his monsters, despite the advantage having two win monsters, ah, it's all over. It's all over, as Joey so eloquently put it. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this, stay tuned for the next adventure, you guys. I 
lost, Yugi. But Joey, you fought valiantly. Heh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Maybe that's why I don't feel that bad that I lost. Now you, don't you be losing any other duels, all right? Of course, I won't let you down. Amazing. Great battle, took me by surprise his monsters. Unfortunately, his fire monsters had zero effect on me. They all get, they both got one shot. So we get bonus XP for clearing out the area. Unfortunately, well, and as you can see, they're all level two. Um, it doesn't really matter which we take here because none of these monsters will be used, unfortunately, because I was looking to find the attribute list, but I can't hey, seem to find Yugi. it. What's wrong, Joey? There's something I forgot to tell you about this tournament. There are five opponents in each area. And if you don't beat them all, you can't move on. That means I just defeated you, Joey, so I have to defeat four more opponents. Right. And if you clear four areas, a whole new path opens up. A new path? What's that? <laughs> like I know. Well, just keep winning. And maybe it'll all make sense later. So keep at it, buddy. Thanks, Joey. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, beat their butts. See you later. A new path. I don't know what the new path is, but we're traveling on our own road right now. No matter who we face on this road, we must win. And we'll do it together. Yeah! All right, you guys. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, guys, don't forget to hit the freaking follow, uh, the subscribe button. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, we are on that journey to YouTube partner, guys. And the next fight, which will be against Tristan, will be coming out really, really soon, guys. Thank you guys so much.